This video will explain to you how Heaviside Unistat function behave as an on-off switch. The product of f of t with Unistat function u of t minus c produce an on-off effect. u of t minus c times f of t is equal to either 0 or f of t. It is equal to 0 if t is less than c, and it is equal to f of t if t is greater than c. Where c is a constant, indicates the value of t at which the function is switched on. In terms of graph, you'll find that the function value is 0 before t equals c and at t equals c, it should up to f of c and then it continues the value of f of t and this will give you the function of y equal to u t minus c times f of t Why we say that the unit step function behave as an on-off switch? Because the product of a unit step function with a function produce either zero or ft. In the case, you see the graph that y equals f of t. There's a portion before t equals c, where the value at t equals c, f of t gives you b. After multiply this with u of t minus c, then the portion of the graph before t equals to c is cut off. So the only part remains is f of t after t greater than or equal to c. For example, if f of t equal to t plus 1, you see the graph on the left hand side, the graph of y equal to ft equal to t plus 1, and then if you multiply f of t with u of t minus 2, then the portion of the graph before t equal to 2 is cut off, becomes 0, whereas after t equal to 2, the portion of the graph continues. So that means that the graph is cut off before t equal to 2. Example 1, part 1. We are going to sketch the graph of sine t times unit step function u t minus pi. First of all, we try to know what is the graph of sine t. We know that the sine t for a cycle looks like this white curve and the highest value of this sine t is y equal to 1 and the period is 2 pi and this pattern will continue then how do you find the graph of sine t times u of t minus pi for this, we notice that the sine curve will continue as I indicated here with the dotted curve. Then the part before t equal to pi is cut off. So this is how the graph looks like. The maximum value of y is still 1, minimum is minus 1. The part between 0 to pi is cut off, and then after pi, you have continued to trace the graph. And we put down the label, where are the key points when we have t equal to pi, and t equal to 2 pi, t equal to 3 pi. Let's look at another example. 
we are going to get the graph of t square times u of t minus 1. Before that, you must get the graph of t square. The graph of t square is a part of the parabola. Notice that when t equal to 1, y equal to 1, and the effect of multiplying t square with u of t minus 1 is the portion of the graph before t equal to 1 is cut off. So the final graph will look like the graph is y equal to 0 from t equal to 0 to 1 and then at t equal to 1 it shoot up to 1 and then afterwards it follow t square onwards.